I am back at PPL. I had a doctor's appointment. This is on the way. And I actually I stopped by to see a toy hauler, but thought I'd look at this Class C2. I like that it does not have a f uh, an overhead cab window on there. And I like that it has windows on each end because if you use this as your primary bed, it's nice to be able to open the windows and get the breezes. And those front windows always leak, so bye-bye. That's fine with me. Be even better if it had a fantastic fan there, but it doesn't. So I'm not going to check this one out thoroughly because I'm not buying it. But typically I would lift the cushions, look under them for any kind of leaks. Um, just look at the ceiling and no water stains in this one whatsoever. That's really good. So, and I like the kitchen. This kitchen is nice. Lots of cabinet space, countertop space, cabinets above. So that's pretty nice. I change out the TV. Actually, I'd probably relocate the TV if it's possible. But yeah, I like this kitchen. On the other side, it's a slide with a long enough sofa for me. Cause I'm five four. The dinette, more cabinet space. Okay, the only one of the things I'm I, has it. I'll go to that in a second. Has a Norcold fridge, same size as mine. Freezer, same as mine. Pretty much the same fridge I have. Shower. I don't know why it bothers me. I just hate my shower beside the kitchen like this. So anyhow, yeah, there's a shower. Um, there is a problem. Linoleum is puckered up and I thought okay it just came loose from the seam. I just noticed this crack down here too. That's probably not a good thing. But when you step on the floor wonder if that has anything to do with that crack. I kind of lifted it a little bit to look and the floor looks okay. So but I don't know what that crack is all about. So there's some kind of structure issue here, I believe. So, see? Bathroom. Nice cabinetry in the bathroom. Vent. So in a rig like this, you would still have to open your vent, although the shower is across from it. You still open that vent and close that door or leave it this way, open the vent and use your fan to suck out any moisture and these people have obviously done that. No water stains on the ceiling whatsoever. A lot of these rigs you will see stains on the bathroom ceiling because they don't vent out the shower and uh, apparently these people did so that's a good thing. I mean these ceilings look really good. So um, bedroom cabinets Let's see what this closet looks like. Mm, that's adequate. And then there's a little small closet over here. And I'm thinking that there's probably a pass through on this section underneath the rig. Let me see if I can lift the bed one-handed. Uh, oh, I can't lift it at all. Okay, apparently the bed doesn't lift on this one, which is odd. Let me turn off this thing and see if I can lift it. It doesn't lift. 
Very odd. I guess the first time I've seen that. That's weird. Huh. Oh well. Can't get the bed lifted. Usually there's storage under the bed, but mm, for me, I want to be able to take the bed out. So, and use the overhead cab as my bedroom and create more space in this bedroom, but the bed doesn't lift. It probably doesn't come out. Okie dokie. So that's it for this uh, Itasca Impulse 35 foot 2007 34 99 to 5. I like the fact that the ceiling's in good shape. Cockpit area. Cloth seats. Okay, let's go outside. Huh. Not much for basement storage here. But they've got this huge pass through here. Which is locked. Let's see if this part's locked. Yep, doors are locked. That kind of sucks. Okay, so this is an Itasca Impulse. It looks like it's in really decent shape. I would definitely have that floor checked out. This is loose, but that's easy fix. The backup camera. So. Go to the front end. I think all no, okay. Anyhow, I wanted to check out that big storage area, but I can't. Boop. It doesn't matter. I'm not buying it. So there you go. The Itasca Impulse Class C.